Hi, I'm David Magnuson, and I am Chairman of the Science Department. I have been here 25, 26 years. Um, right now I'm teaching Advanced Placement Biology, uh, Anatomy and Physiology, Marine Science, and um, sometimes Introductory Physics. One of the things that I try to promote in my own department is a silly little expression which says science is a verb, which means you've got to do things. You can't just talk about them. So as best I can, I'm always looking for opportunities not to talk, but rather to do something. Either have the kids involved um, studying on their own or have them involved in some type of activity where the activity is teaching them something. So uh, as often as I can, I'm having kids doing things. I'm trying to create a real life experience for the kids. Uh, we do a lot of work outside, a lot of field trips to the coast. Uh, we do the first third of the course is about uh, exploring their local marine environment. The middle third of the course is looking at one of those vi environments very intensively. And so the aquaria are so the kids can simulate the rocky intertidal. And we look at that ve very carefully. We look at all the cycles, the nitrogen cycle, oxygen cycle. We also look at the various organisms that are in there, the food chains, the food pyramids. And the main idea is to give them an idea of how complex of food chains are and how complex environments are. And I try to teach them that this mini little environment is very similar to the environment of the entire Earth and teach them some, some global principles and introduce some sort of um, problems that we're having in ecosystems. The atmosphere. The gases are moving in and out of there in equilibrium. So they are essentially the same amount. Okay. So you might want to add that down here is that the amount of CO2 in this water is about 1%. Uh, to be a successful teacher, I, I think you have to be a little obsessive compulsive. Uh, it's, uh, you really, I think first and foremost, you have to love working with kids. That's the most important thing. I think the second thing is you really have to be in love with the discipline that you're teaching. Um, and I think you really have to have a great work ethic. You know, we do have lots of time off. You know, but if, you, if you're not putting in lots of time when you're on the job, you're just not going to be successful. It's a very, very demanding job. And as long as you're willing to work real hard at it and really dedicate yourself to your students because they are your job. It's, it's, it's not the information, it's them. I am continuously prompting the people in my staff to work towards meeting the goals, objectives, the standards of the MCAS. And it's very standardized teaching. Uh, honestly, I think it teaches to mediocrity. Um, it takes a lot of the creativity and imagination out of teaching. Uh, the problem with the science MCAS standards is they have huge amounts of content. And because you have huge amounts of content, you can't do things like this, which I think is the heart and soul of science. I think the way you stay fresh in teaching is to have a, your number one interest is the kids. Yes, the topics stay the same from year to year, although science is very exciting because it changes. That, that's what I like about it most. But the most important thing is you really enjoy a new bunch of kids every single year. And it's about teaching them, not so much teaching them information. But I think that's probably the most important thing for anyone who's been teaching a long time. Stay on top of the subject, you know, fuel your own excitement about it. That, that's the biggest thing. And if you do that, that, that excitement comes across in your teaching. You know, you still have some zip to you. The kids are the first, first ones to let you know you're supposed to retire. Yeah, I think you have to have high expectations and high demands. And then make it fun, have fun yourself. That, that's the most important thing, enjoy doing it. Okay, last one and we done. You guys have been very, very patient today. If this is the phosphorus cycle, 